YouTube, Al here. Today I'm going to be playing some Catacomb on the MS DOS. If you don't know what the MS DOS is, you're too young, so get out. No, I'm just kidding, you can stay. Um, uh, today I'm also going to be drinking this uh, dogfish head, Lupa Luau. IPA. Um, it's a coconut centric IPA brewed in tropical trifecta toasted coconut experiment hops in coconut water. Ah, 7.3% alcohol by volume. So, um, let's see what she tastes like. A trusty rusty glass here. That is very coconutty, I have to say. And surprisingly, it goes well with the hops. Which you wouldn't think it would, you know, coconut and hop. But actually, you get that first taste of the hops, and then that like, coconut aftertaste. It's really weird, I have to say that. It's not bad. It's really weird. It's an odd combination. I mean, Dogfish Head is one of the largest craft breweries. They're like, not even a craft brewery anymore since they're so big. If you don't know Dogfish Head, then that's rare. So, yeah. Um, it's light. It's still very hoppy. That coconut taste is throwing me off. I don't know. I don't know if I like it. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm going to give this a 5.5 out of 10. Just because it's not hitting me. I mean, if you like coconut and beer, I guess this would be for you. But uh, I don't know. It smells like coconut, too. It tastes like hops and coconut. Maybe when I'm down to the lower bottom of it, it'll taste better, but... I don't know. Alright. And uh, we're going to be playing some Catacomb. Um, catacomb. Catacombs. The Catacombs. There's a few names that it goes by. Uh, this is one of my favorite games I played as a kid on the MS-DOS. Um, it's a top-down scrolling shooter kind of game. Uh, it reminds me of Gauntlet for the NES. Um, so there was one version released. It was 1 through 10 levels, and that was it. And then there was another one released, 1 through 30 levels. So today I'm going to play through the first five levels of the first game. And... Um, We'll see how it goes. So here we go with Catacomb. Alright, here we go with Catacomb. Now, um, this game doesn't have any sound, so I might dub in, overlap some sort of NES sound. Some of my favorites. Um, just so it isn't just dead noise. All you hear is just the guy shooting the fireballs. Okay, so, Catacomb. This little dude space to start. Entering level one. Alright, so, real basic, um, top right corner, keys, power, little bags, that's your health. Uh, B is like a super blast. You hit B on the keyboard and it shoots out this crazy fireball blast. And N is a nuke. Um, it just shoots out shit all around you if you're trapped. Um, so yeah. I mean, you just go around, and, like, puzzle game, you gotta figure out where you're going, um, and, uh, it's actually really fun, it's like, I remember playing the first ones when I was younger, 
and they were, it was just just ten levels, so it wasn't super hard. Um, but they all have like kind of like a complex puzzly maze area, and it's neat. It's a neat game. Um, right here, I'm going to show you. There, I know about this. There's a what's that? Right there. All right, so this area here is like good old Mario. Some treasure chests. Those are little treasure chests, by the way. They're tiny. These assholes. This, if you get the key, I don't want to do it, but it's a warp zone, so you can go to like, I think level five, seven, nine, or something. You want to skip ahead. Um, all right, so we're just gonna go up here. First of all, it's really easy to get the key, and then there's this big red guy. Ain't too hard. Where's he at? Oh yeah, boom! You get all this shit. Some of these holes you can shoot through. You see those little little dots on the wall? I'll circle them. Um, Usually means you can shoot through the wall. Like that. Oh, look. Bees. I got some bees. Everybody needs some bees. Okay. And then these are like little mirrors taking the next level of the catacomb. Entering level two. And there it says the catacombs. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba the catacombs. Alright. So game isn't really super hard. Um, it's actually pretty easy. Um, <sighs> coconut beer break. Um, they give you plenty of health. So as long as you're not dumb, you don't have to worry about it. Oh, there's a key there. How do I get in there? All oh, these. Blast this guy. Get the key. Um. But they are, like, when I was, like, I don't know, 10, 11, trying to play these games. Um. Yeah, they're very complicated for a young kid. But, um. Yeah, it's. Actually, the enemies that are the hardest in here are the little white ones because they're so skin they're so skinny that they run up on you and you can't hit them right away and they just drain your power. So I could easily go to the gate right here if I wanted. Um, but there's a door down here and usually if there's a door there's another key, so I'm gonna see what that is. Assholes. A lot of stuff you gotta kind of explore. It's like here, it's like, oh, well, uh, there's no key here. So I think somewhere down here, yeah. you can shoot into the wall. Now, shoot that butthead. Treasure chest. Treasure chest. There's another key. So I just. Hook me up on items that I probably won't need. Don't need to go that way. Um, what about MS DOS? If you have a newer computer, you probably can't play this game. Um, so level three. Probably can't play this game because um, MS DOS games don't run very well. Over computers, like this computer that I have, and I'm running it on. Um, reason being, I'm not sure why. Windows 10 doesn't support it. I'm not sure about Windows 7, this, that, any of that crap. I have Windows 10. Um, but at, uh, go online, get a, a, a program called DOSBox. It's free. Just look it up. Download that, and then you can download pretty much MA MS DOS game you want. Um, I'll include the links of where I got this one, and I'll include the links for DOS Box if anybody wants it. Um, great program, it's free. Um, I actually donated like three dollars, so I was like, yeah, 
hope you get some use of this, because I haven't played these games in freaking forever, and I used to play them all the time. Um, I'm going to show you the other Catacomb one as well. It's 30 levels. It's a lot harder than this one. This one it actually is pretty easy, because um, I remember beating them when I was like 10 or 11. So. A little bit of puzzle solving, but I um, thought there was a key here. It is right there. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. What are you guys doing? Shoot him through the hole. Shoot him through the hole in the wall. Alright, um, I don't think you can get this. It's just tricking you. Uh -huh, okay. Okay. Uh, how do I go in here? Can't go in there. Sometimes you get lost because it's a very monotonous green and pink walls. Um, you can also strafe. You hold the alt key. I didn't, I didn't explain the keys. Control fires. Pew, 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 pew. Hold it in. Charges it up. Super bomb. Control strafes. Um, yeah. I open this door. I think that's all. I don't really need anything else. Now we go on to level four. Very maze-like. Um, it's a it's a great game. MS DOS had some great games in my childhood that um, I've been playing recently. So I got DOS box. I'm like, oh man, I remember this game. I remember this game. So if you haven't played this game, and you know, being a console guy, it's hard to get used to a keyboard. But luckily, this one's only like three keys. Um, shoot these guys in their buttholes. <laughs> yeah, luckily it's only like three, or four keys, so it's not too bad. But yeah, it's hard to get used to a keyboard. Um, I'll admit that. But, you know, make sacrifices. No, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Probably some wall here. I'm gonna blow out. Right there. Charge your chest. I don't have a key, so I can't go through there. I'm gonna go back up here somewhere. Some, I missed something somewhere. A lot of this is... Just gotta... Try to find where you're going. Because it's tricky. Alright. Uh, I hate that sound you get when you're running to a wall. Look at that. Found something. I see, I see, okay, oh shit. That's the key I needed. That's the key I need and I want. So now I gotta go back. Da, 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 da. It's a dungeon crawl. The greatest crawl of all. Look what I found. A key. We have to go back? We don't have to, we get to. Come on. Dungeon crawl. It's the greatest crawl of all. No crawl too small for a dungeon crawl. See, that didn't take long at all. Oh, it's a dungeon crawl. Right. These guys are trapped in a box, obviously. Dots here. Blasting them. Buttholes. These guys here. What I like to do is open up. Open up a hole and just blast through the hole. That way they can't attack me. So I'm just shooting through a hole, and then I just blast it up and get the treasure. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. That's a little tease right there. Think it's anything? Uh, I don't think so. I don't care. I don't need it anyway. <sighs> ah, shit. This red, big red asshole. Okay, how do I get 
to that guy. Where's he at? He's up here. I'll get in there. How do... How? There's gotta be a way. Let's go back. back. Let's go back. Let's back travel. Into the dungeon. Crawl. The greatest crawl of all. That shit is a secret somewhere. Secret secrets everywhere. Ah, there we go. I'm in here with this guy. Oh, I... I died. Well, shit. Sassafras... Ass. You can tell by my high scores. Um, yeah, so you pretty much die once, and you're dead. So, I gotta start back at the beginning. Uh, and with the power of editing, back at level four. Imagine that. I'm just the best. Editing. What an awesome tool. So I'm at the beginning of level four. I do all the stuff I just did over again. Shoot that guy. These guys, shoot that guy. Let's not die again. How about that? How, that, that sounds like a plan. Let's not die again. Fish in a barrel. Shit. There's nothing in there. That was just for points. Uh, sometimes you just shoot shit for points. So I gotta go all the way back around. It's a dungeon crawl. It's the greatest crawl of all. Yeah. Back down again. Where? Let's shoot this guy in his face. Shoot this guy in his face. And we're back at it again. Cause I'm back. Dun, 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 dun. Shoot you in your face. Ah, ah, ah. Did you just die? Five. That's cool. The end. What am I gonna do here? Well, I'm just gonna give up. Grandma saw it was a beer. This is where a good uh, spot for uh, the nuke comes in. So watch this. Oh, look at that! Kind of blast your way around. This is where the puzzle gets in, where you're just like, ah, oh, man, where do I go? Where do I go? That sweet treasure. You can't get to it. Oh, what am I doing now? Oh no, 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 no. Oh, no. Bummer. Alright, now I gotta go here. Glad you could. Be... They got jokes. Glad you could. Be... Oh no, I'm stuck again. Awesome. Back up here. Back down here. I think it's over here. This is a big room. Oh, gee, thanks. Alright. Yeah. This is a big room. Do not enter. Over here. 
Oh, okay. Hey, he's just waiting to eat me. Weird red guys. Back up. So, yeah. So I remember as a kid, I spent forever trying to get in this treasure room, but you can't do it. You just can't do it. It's just a tease. You don't need treasure anyway unless you want the top score. I already got the top score. <laughs> Alright, now. Now on to level 6. And that's where I'm going to end the review right now. Um, tune in next week. I'll be drinking another delicious brewski and finishing the rest of Catacomb. Catacomb 1. The Catacomb. Whatever it's called. Um, yeah. Go shoot some more people in the face. It's going to be a fun time. So, see you later. Peace.